everyone welcome to our new reading this is again a reading for messages from your person i know you guys really love that so once in a while you know i want to give this to you so guys let's do this you see three piles you see the pictures of the three piles this is pile one and this is the treasure chest for pile one pile two and the treasure chest to pile two and pile three and the treasure chest from path three okay so make your choice and then um, we see each other at the pies so hi guys <laughs> welcome to our beautiful crease decoration well euph euphoria you how do you say it how did i say it man the honest is euphoria <laughs> So, you chose this card. This card is called Inner Strength. So, we're going to look at your car this card first. Maybe, um, you know, sometimes you'll see things that I don't see. Let me check the camera. So, guys, sorry, it was not the right spot. Yeah, look at this. How beautiful is that? <clears throat> it's all about overcoming your fears, you know. Um, I feel this is a message of, of for you, yeah. To overcome your fears that you will never receive communication and that's what I think is the main message so we're gonna check the box later um, I'm gonna use the because I think it fits beautifully to our decoration this is the crystal chrysalis chrysalis tarot deck and then we're gonna use this one so let's Check the message from your one. I want to use the Chrysalis Tarot and also the You, will, you Can Always Count On Me Tarot. Mm, let me just um, cleanse the, the air. <laughs> mm, I always love this um, smudging spray. So beautiful. It smells roses. There you go. We have the Queen of Spirals, the Muse. Yeah. <coughs> Beautiful, right? So. Let's see what else is coming through. We have Ariadne. <clears throat> Queen of Spirals, and here we have the Spirals. That's really interesting, I feel. And we have the, the stag, which tells me of you are guided on your path. You are guided on your path, and there will be some kind of transformation. Yeah, Seven of Murals. You will be guided to your soul task. <clears throat> that's what I'm seeing your one also wants to tell you that it's not an illusion let's see what is the, the bottom of the deck the three of stones I hope you can see it yeah okay <clears throat> so then I also want to get the messages from my own deck. So if you want to get this, you there's the link in the description box. This is a deck with channeled messages. Um, you can get this at makeplayingcards.com. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Mm 
Oh my, oh my, oh my, the choker came out. Oof. This is beautiful. So guys, the message is from your person. Um, I'm feeling here the message is that, you know, you are in this together. This is always the card for me with the two people here. We have the flame, yeah, the fire, um, the community. I see here a community. Why is it not focusing? Yeah, you see here the community, yeah? This is a home for me. This is meaning the card that is the bottom of the deck. You both are part of this community, yeah? This tells me that you and your one will meet in this community. It could be that this community is being established later out of your soul task, yeah? That you will join a community. And I see that all of you are in there and you gain wisdom in this community. That, that's what I'm seeing. That's what the owls stand for. You know, all the owls, all the people gaining wisdom in a community. And that's where you will meet. I'm pretty sure about this because this looks like a celebration, like a, um, yeah, like a fire, you know, where people meet, like a gathering, maybe after Corona. And that's when you will meet. And that's what they want to tell you. So um, with this inner strength, you know, please overcome your fears they're, they're wanting to say please overcome the fears of not being able or not trusting the communication and the signs that you're getting it takes a lot of inner strength yeah this card is all about inner strength knowing that everything will turn out the way it's supposed to be and that's what you need to believe in and that's what we learned in our lives you know that's what i'm always talking about in the lives that you know if you get communication from the universe please believe in that yeah so we have here the muse <clears throat> i feel your person right now um is interested in various other things and i see they see you as their muse somehow you are their muse it, it's what keeps them going yeah they have a picture in their mind. The muse is always for me the picture of the perfect woman. So basically, um, if they don't know who you are, they picture you as their perfect woman. Yeah, They're single. We have it here. It says, I have everything. The only one missing is my in my life is you. There you go. I have everything. The only thing, the only one missing in my life is you. And that's why, you know, they picture you as this perfect woman. You are basically their muse. And they also tell me by this that you are guided. Yeah, you are guided towards them you, by the universe. The stag is always the universe guiding or looking for the path, you know. <clears throat> so basically, you don't need to worry. Um, there's death right now. Yeah, the Ariadne card. Ariadne card is the card of death. But, you know, I always see how beautiful does that fit to the decoration, you know. And I see her, you know, having this string of fate with her. So this tells me that your person wants to say to you that even if the, your person is not there, even if it seems, because this is the card of an illusion, even if it seems like an illusion, you know, you are always bound with a string of fate on your person. And no one can take your person away if you are... <coughs> So we have to move on <laughs> and just ring that the door. So guys, this could be a sign, you know, that this is a sign for you. You know, I just had to stop because it rang at the door. And, you know, even if it seems like an illusion, you know, you are bound with this string of fate to your person. And maybe right now it seems like a cycle, you know, it seems like a never ending spiral you know that's why you know you are the queen of spirals it seems as if it's a never-ending cycle a never-ending circle and there's death right now your person is not with you of course not and for you it seems like an illusion yeah but it's saying this waiting game is so tiring i just want to be with you yeah that's probably what they are thinking and what you are thinking right and then, you know, the universe is guiding you into your soul test. And we get, again, we have the seven of morals, which is also this card of 
mirroring, you know, that you are mirroring your person, mm, that you are, <clears throat> you know, we also have a broken, broken mirror, um, which, which means that you feel unlucky. But actually you are not, because we have the Joker here, and the Joker is again the luck card. So what seems unlucky and what seems broken, what seems that, you know, you are alone all the time, working hard on yourself, working hard to, um, yeah, maybe also you think you are in, caught in an illusion and you want to um, come out of it, you know? There is this joker and it says, guess what? I am coming, you know? So they want to tell you, this is the message here, that, you know, overcome this fear, overcome this fear of being caught in a cycle, overcome this fear that you never will have contact because it's not like this guys yeah it's not like this you guys will meet in a community whatever this community could be later so let's get some <clears throat> some guidance for you guidance for the divine feminine in this case universe yeah look at this exactly uncertainty the shades of gray within the fog will eventually lift. See? Wow! This is beautiful. This is exactly what I said. And they're saying the shades of gray within the fog will lift. So, you know, you don't need to worry. Let's get another one. Wow, I love this. Oh, and then this turned around, so I'm taking it. It says... Um, Hope, an idea like a single acorn can start a wondrous forest, branch out to new worlds. Yeah, have hope in your journey. Always don't, don't, like never lose hope in this journey. It's hard, it's tough. You need a lot of inner strength, but never lose hope. So let's see what is inside your box. I want to re also read the quotes from your person. And then we have charms. So the quotes are... And I hope you can see it. Aren't they beautiful? There is nothing I would not do for you. Aww. Every time I see you, I fall in love with you all over again. Please take it. Either those are your notes or the notes from your person. You make me feel so loved. I want... I can't promise to fix all your problems, but I can promise you that you will never have to face them alone. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love this. So guys, you know, never lo lose hope in this. And even if you are, you feel like, let me get your charms. You feel like you're alone on this journey. Actually, you're not. So you have three charms. We have the fairy that sits on a star. I think you see it like this. Let's focus universe here. You see this? Isn't that beautiful? The fairy. That's like the fairy tale. You think this is a fairy tale. Whew, and you want, you know, you kind of want to forget it. And then we have the shell and the beautiful flower. Yeah? The shell tells me that maybe you you draw back you know maybe you thought this journey is not for you maybe you thought oh my gosh you know um yeah you know you closed your shell or you need to develop a big shell because it's all about inner strength your reading is all about inner strength having the strength to believe in this even if it's not um happening right now you know so i hope i could give you again a little bit of confirmation on your path and I see you again in our next messages from your one. Bye, guys. I love you. Take care. Hi, Patu. Welcome to your reading. Look at our beautiful decoration. So you guys chose this card. I want to show it to you. Isn't that beautiful? It says, all is well. We have number 37, which is um, equals up to a 10. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh. I really love how those cards are always so beautiful, you know? 
So maybe you were wondering, you know, because you didn't know what what the name is of the card. The name of the card is all is everything is all right, all is well, you know. So that's the message, you know. <laughs> you don't need to worry. You don't need to worry. We look later at um, your messages and some charms that I got for you. So we look later at your little treasure chest. So let's get your. Um, your message and I also want to say that this is the what is it called chrysalis tarot I thought that tarot is really fitting beautifully to the decoration what is the message for part two universe so first we look at the cards then I also get it, want to get cards from my deck <clears throat> we have the seven of scrolls now you see it right he's like deciding which door to go <laughs> if he should open the dock the box or not <laughs> then we have the dreamer wow the knight of mirrors that's the knight of cops Beautiful, right? That's a beautiful energy. And we have the sorceress. Oh, I love this. The high priestess. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Look at how they face each other. This is your energy and your person's energy. And I love that because here in this pile, Big Tay is again. <laughs> I always sense his energy. Like, I mean, also when I see the tiger, it's beautiful. So, you know, this is beautiful. All is well. Everything is all right. So let's see what cards fall on those. And then we're going to see what the message is. Can you give me additional messages? That's beautiful. Bottom of the deck, the Five of Mirrors. It's like the balance. Look at this. Um, instead of the challenges, the Five of Mirrors, the Five is always a card of challenges. Yeah. And this card is so beautiful because actually it's you know this card is about disappointment and you being disappointed you con con um yeah you're like i feel this is your energy and that's why your person wants to tell you all is well everything is all right you know your flower is blooming you have to get in balance you have to stand over this you have to um, you have to see that everything is fine everything is in balance yeah but for you, it feels like everything is not in balance. For you, because the Five of Mirrors is a card of disappointment. Um, yeah, like kind of a depressive energy. Look, she's not really looking happy. You know, she's looking like meh. You know, and your person wants to tell you, but look, everything is in balance. Everything is fine. You don't even see it. You don't even see that everything is all right, you know. Um, we have this couple here yeah and this is you with your masculine so please apply it as it fits you know um i see here this is your energy the high priestess and you're very impatient yeah let's read this quote this is defining you and it says i burn for you with all my inner fire <laughs> that's so you right divine feminines so that's the divine feminine, you know, I burn for you with all my inner fire, wanting to make it happen. Yeah, she's doing alchemy. She's doing all kind of things because you're very impatient. And here she's sending out uh, messages with that crow. Yeah, I see sending out a message, wanting to make it happen, being impatient. You, you burn for your person. This is the Knight of Wands. You know, this is the most impatient knight in the deck. So it tells me that you you really want to push the agenda. You really want to make it happen. Yeah. And that's why you are not in this balanced energy because you're so 
the Knight of Wands is really moving fast forward, like wanting to move fast, you know. But your person cannot take the cup. We have the Four of Pentacles. They cannot take the cup yet. It's not divine timing. Yeah. And this is exactly how it is. Um, they have to learn something. You know, the Four of um, Pentacles is this card of they keeping to themselves. They're not open yet. They're not ready to open up yet. Nah, man, focus. Focus, universe. There you go. Yeah. This person has to let the tiger out. You see this? They're still contemplating. They're still wandering. They're still thinking. They're still avoiding this connection. They're still, hmm, you know? You see them in being in this contemplation mode. They're like probably shortly awakened or they cannot open the door yet. Yeah? It's like they're Aladdin flying on, making their own wishes coming true right now. And they are not focused on this connection. I see this here. They're not focused on this connection. And it says, I'm sorry, it's hard for me to open up, but I won't let you go. Yeah? But they cannot open up yet. And that's, that's what they want to tell you. They look at you. They see this connection kind of, but this is here what they're doing. They cannot decide on opening the door yet. You see this? This is not opening up yet. And it's exactly what they are saying. They're struggling, you know, the five of, um, there's too much competition also, you know, with the five of challenges. Um, they're confused. Look at all these scrolls. It's, it's like the universe is throwing them. And I told you yesterday, it's like the universe is throwing like scrolls, like contracts they have. And they say, well, here are all your contracts. Then, um, you know, find your divine feminine. And they're like, yeah, <laughs> they're trying to make a strategy how to know which door it is, like which door they have to go through. Like they're contemplating, they're challenged, you know, this is a struggle. And it says, why me when there are so many fighting for your attention? This is probably you saying this. <laughs> Look, at, there are so many contracts that falling are falling on this person's feet. And the universe is saying, well, this is one of your soulmates. And this is this. And this is this. And there is a karmic you have a contract with. And this person is confused. They're like, oh my gosh, you know, so many contracts. Which one do I have to do next? <laughs> you know? And that's why they're avoiding. Yeah, I also see if this is a person... Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if this is a person you met in 3D, they're avoiding this contact with you again because they're not sure. They see all these responsibilities and this is a dreamer. If we look at this card of this person, you know, um, they're not sure if they should, you know, if this is an ex, they're not sure if they should take the contract again, if they should, um, you know, move forward with you again, um, you know, because they are not sure of, do they want all the responsibility because right now they are a dreamer, kind of like in a dreamer industry, you know, they think of something different, what they want than what you want. This is what I see if this is an ex. But basically the universe is saying, don't worry, everything is all right, because that's the overall energy. You know, you need to find your own balance again. Yeah, everything is all right. So let's see. <clears throat> let's see what the little cards are saying. Some guidance here for the divine feminine. Please give me some guidance for the divine feminine. Yeah, transform. Emerge with beauty. Oh, that's exactly the card. Emerge with beauty and grace from your cocoon. That's exactly this card, isn't it? Look at this. That's exactly this card. Transform this sadness energy. Yeah, transform this energy of always wanting this so bad, this union to happen right now. Renew. Nature continuously renews itself year after year. 
yeah it's time to renew this energy here and then we have adventure live wild and free this whole journey is an adventure and everything is all right you know the universe will guide you to where you need to be so transform and just be happy try to be happy everything is all right you know you also see how she has a sunshine like she you know she's holding the sun the sunshine the happiness you know look at how she's she's happy she's she's emerging out of the rain she's emerging out of the sadness yeah and the universe is basically saying well all is well you know all is well so let's see your quotes those could be yours or the ones from your person you know please take it as it resonates and it says I'm yours forever I wish you could see what I see when I look at you oh. look into my eyes you will see what you mean to me the eyes are very important for this person and that's why oh we we have a face there right there too you're my soulmate for that I love you so confirmation that there is a strong soul bond here whatever you label it you know very strong soul connection beautiful and now let's see your charms I always got three for everyone so we have the bicycle you know and the bicycle is for me always um, this carefree energy also you know and a bicycle you have to do from your own work you know from your own feet the energy to to go comes from your own feet and what I also see is that if this person lives far away from you you know they are not able to cross the ocean right now you know they can only bicycle in their own country so if you have a long distance connection you know that's why maybe they're not coming because they're not able to travel overseas right now you know this is one of the obstacles then we also have the Alice in Wonderland bunny <laughs> well, I think it's very cute you know the tea time um, you know this whole thing is like a fairy tale for you you know you're Alice in Wonderland you're wondering what is this you know um, did I fall down the rabbit hole <laughs> and then we have the key beautiful golden key and I think this key is very important you know I think why is it always falling down the key is um, for me also this key of unlock this beauty inside of yourself unlock this transformation unlock this balance in yourself and everything is fine you know because also the card says everything is well everything is fine you don't need to worry in this connection you know the the journey you know your person and you are on a journey the pilgrim they have to leave their country you know they live far away from you there is an obstacle of also of long distance here what I see and they are only able right now as to move in their own country yeah maybe also because of corona so all is well don't worry basically the universe is saying okay that's all what I'm having okay, three bye. you chose this beautiful card with the elephant being caught in a tower look at this there are all those keys <laughs> look at this it's like um you know the elephant has the right key you know yeah and it's like this big machinery this is like a big journey and there's the key to open up the cage you know and it says solution Well, this is very interesting, I think, you know. I feel the solution is here in freeing, freeing the elephant. So let's see what that means. Free the elephant with the right key. Beautiful. So let's see what 
your one wants to tell you. We're using the Chrysalis Tarot because I think it's very beautiful fitting into the decoration today. What, what is the meaning of the message, please, for part three universe? Okay, we got our three cards already. Wow, look at this, the Ten of Mirrors. That's so beautiful. I love this card, look at this. That's like the same card with all these keys. It's like there is confusion which key is the right one, which mirror, see? That's the same like all these keys. There are so many keys and I think this person is confused which key is the fitting one. I think this is, they need, they w wait for a solution from the universe. Yeah, they want to come forward, but they're, they're looking for the truth. This is Herne the Hunter, the Chariot. I want to read that story of Herne the Hunter. I feel there is a story behind that. Look at this. They're trying to find the truth. They're trying to be wise. This looks like a, a, a forest god of some kind. Like they're asking, um, yeah, the forest god. Maybe they, they pray to the forest god. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> and we have the high priestess. Yeah, they're finding, trying to find out the secret. The high priestess is that they're trying to send a message. They're trying to find a solution. They're trying to do the alchemy, you know. They're trying to look inside of themselves. They're tr basically trying to find the key, the, the right one. Yeah. <clears throat> I think this is their energy, trying to find the right solution. Beautiful. So let's see. <clears throat> we have two major arcana. The chariot and the sorceress, the high priestess and the chariot. So let's see what cards fall down. Can I see the sorceress, please? <clears throat> Can I see this chariot? And can I see the ten of cups? I don't want no one else. I, I, what does it say? Just you, only you. Well, since there came out so many cards, I'm gonna take them, you know. <laughs> I don't know why so many cards came out. Maybe this is needed. Um, with the sorceress here, I mean, the knight of, this knight of swords, it says, I don't like patience. Let's meet and talk all night. Like they, they really want to come forward. They really want to get to know you. I feel here. They really, um, you know, they don't like to stick for themselves. They don't like to keep that all inside of them. They don't like to not knowing the solution. They don't like to be in that tower. Of course not. I mean, if we look at this elephant, I think this is your person. Um, you know, they're trying to be saved by you, but you know, right now they have to stay in that position and it's not a very, you know, it's not a very comfortable. And then it says, I hope you can see my efforts and my art that I do to show you I am with you in this. We are a team. Yeah. So they are with you. They know this. Um, they want to find the key. They want to find the key to break out, but it's not possible as right now. They have to keep for themselves, but they're trying to find that out. See, but the universe is saying, no, right now it's not, it's not the timing. And they want to tell you they're really eager to get out of there and to walk towards you. Yeah. The chariot. And this is the card of movement. Yeah? The eight of cups is walking away. So I really feel they want to break free from the tower. Yeah. Whatever that tower is whatever the tower is, they want to break free from that. They want to walk away from that. They want to find the solution, um, you know, to find you. But basically it's like with this Hernity Hunter, let's read this. I want to know what that is. Okay. 
Hörne the Hunter. Where is my... Oh, I can't find it right now. Mm. That's strange. It's not there. So I'm sorry, guys. I must have put it somewhere else. Um, <clears throat> it's not there. So we should not know what Hearn the Hunter is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we should not know. So, um, yeah. <laughs> But I feel here um, <clears throat> that they're trying their best. But here with this wheel, I feel it's faded. Yeah, when I see this, it's faded by the gods. It's faded by some, you know, this is for me some kind of forest god. So I feel here that, you know, finding the solution, they have to wait. <clears throat> they have to wait till the timing is coming. And it says, I'm trying, I'm trying to find you on this long spiritual path into nowhere. See, exactly. They're trying to come forward. They're trying to find you. And then we have the 10 of mirrors and we have, guess what? I'm coming. So I told you this, they're, they're trying to find out this waiting game is so tiring. I just want to be with you. So basically they're saying they're longing for this 10 of mirrors. You know, this is the 10 of cups in usual tarot. This is like, uh, you know, they want to bring their mirror to you. They want to. Um, find you they want to um, give you a message you know they want to come forward they want to fly they wish they could fly out of this tower but it's not possible I feel also this year it's like a, this tower is like a company or something where you know life circumstances I mean the tower you all know when the to tower is falling down and I feel here this person is waiting for this tower moment and they say they cannot destroy the tower by themselves. The solution is to wait for the universe, you know? It's like they throw out the key to the universe and say, I'm, I'm ready, you know, please take this away from me. Because for some kind of reason, they are unable to, um, <clears throat> to put the key themselves into the hole. It's like they wait for something on the outside to rescue them, basically, from the universe, yeah. Maybe they pray on this God to help them, <laughs> you know, because he is cutting free. See this? It's like they're waiting from the universe to cut them free. That's it. They're not doing it by themselves. And I think the lesson here is that they need to learn that they have to free themselves. Yeah. But they're waiting for the universe to cut down their ties, but they're ready to come forward. But they have to learn that they need to cut themselves free from, from their own power, you know? So let me get guidance for the Divine Feminine. Okay, so we have crowned it. Keep to your roots and stand taller than the trees. Keep yourself grounded. And also, um, you know, stand tall. Stand taller than the trees. Yeah, I feel this person has to learn to stand up for themselves. Um, we have the Knight. Find comfort in the night. Find comfort in the night where the world switches off and the stars burn bright. Yeah. And in here, do not be deterred by the thorn amidst the roses. And then let's see your charms and the messages. I want to wake up every morning with you in my arms. Beautiful, right? Beautiful. You stole my heart. And most of all, I love being you. Ah, that's so beautiful, isn't it? So let's look at your charms. <clears throat> oh my gosh, look at this. We have two hearts. 
like two entangled hearts. So this is confirmation, guys. Look at this. Both of you are so into each other. Yeah, this is a faded love connection. Look at this. This is very like, you know, and a big flower. Wow. So I feel here, you know, that the solution is they have to wait to the till the universe frees them or they have to learn to free themselves in order for them to come forward. Yeah. And they just want to tell you they're ready. They're trying to find a solution. They want to um, find you. They want to come near to you. But as of right now, they're um, they're stuck. Basically, they're stuck. That's their message. OK, I hope I could help you guys. And this was a beautiful message. I see you again next time. Bye.